What is up, everybody? Hey, Joel, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> awesome. You're very enthusiastic. I love yeah. it. It was a Tony um, the Tiger impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, great. Joel, I'm so happy to, to have you speaking at Epic WebConf um, coming right up in uh, just like two months from now um, yeah. in Salt Lake City. It's going to be so sick. Uh, this is year two. Um, you are a, uh, a co-organizer of this conference. I am. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, just really grateful to you for uh, helping make this a reality. I definitely I wouldn't do this without you. Um, if uh, if you weren't a part of it, then same. Say, oh, I can't can't make it happen. So so yeah, thank you um, for uh, for making this happen, um, taking care of the the website and everything too. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, I. The, the purpose of this is just for people to get to know you a little bit okay. uh, ahead of your talk and kind of get an intro to your talk. So why don't you give us an intro to yourself? Well, my name is Joel. Uh, I built Egghead IO and I build um, a, a nice catalog of, of other cool sites like Epic Web and Epic React and Total TypeScript um, and other kind of course related sites. And that's what I like doing. I love the platform work and I like building the tooling around that stuff and, and kind of uh, content management and all those those goodies are fun to build. I like to build my own content management system because they're, they're, there's no good ones. So I need to build my own. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I, I don't think we have any CMS sponsors of the conference yet, but... <laughs> oh, nice. Well, yours is great. Yeah, if, if you're listening. <laughs> I actually do. Like, I love... There's a lot of great content management systems and we've used them in our favorite... Traditionally, has been sanity, and and we we use that. But then we like got to the point where we had it so dialed in, like how we were using that, that going custom just made sense. So that's mm -hmm. what we've been migrating towards, and it's related to the talk too, because it all kind of stems from that. I call it course builder, um, mm -hmm. and it's just our platform for for creating courses and doing all the automations and support and stuff that goes on behind the scenes for uh, any any sort of product like that. Yeah, dude, it is. Um, I've seen the stuff that you've done for Epic Web and Epic React, and it's uh, it's super impressive. Uh, very cool stuff. So when I saw your talk proposal, I'm, I was like, I've got to get this one in. Well, you had like two or three that were really, really good. But um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to get this one in. Uh, so yeah, actually, let's let's talk a little bit about it. Can you give us a like a quick rundown of what you're thinking about for your talk? So it's about um, building your own horde of of AI minions, basically. And I haven't seen the cartoon. I think I actually might need to see the the minions oh. <laughs> cartoon, so um, I, I can maybe sprinkle in some of that flavor. But the idea to me is, and, and what I'm up to personally, is building kind of a um, like a very personal app for myself. I, it's at joelfit.app and and I'm adding these automations in that that help me organize my personal health and fitness and it's using AI behind the scenes and agents um, to some extent they're they're basically, you know, like it's it's send a, a command to an LLM and there's a, a LLM router in the background and decides which of of these processes or workflows should kick off and and it's really neat because I don't know, they it can kind of work work for you in the, you know, they can make these small decisions while also keeping it contained. So, you know, it doesn't run amok and you're not like, I'm not going to give it my credit card numbers. Um, but like you can do all these cool things with, with these workflows and, and it extends beyond like I'm doing it for like my current, um, kind of hobby app is around myself, but that then applies to all sorts of professional circumstances or workflows or processes that we have in our day-to-day -day lives as developers and then beyond that because i talk to people all the time that are running into you know they would like to use these things but they're difficult and and um, sometimes a little opaque to get started so my goal is with this talk is just to to get people enthusiastic and show them how to get started and how we've been been using this stuff kind of um because we all are aware of the hype um around like agents and and you know this terminology but it's really practical and i think approachable um for for most people that develop software to, to start playing with this and get a lot of utility out of it yeah yeah so you're like peeling back the uh the layers so that it's less magical uh and more practical and like yeah. this is something that you can do sort of thing yeah and and you know laid out in a way that it's like oh okay well it's a, I'd like to describe it as as a new 
kind of superpower in your arsenal you know we get mm. these there's and there's been a lot of paradigm shifting superpowers coming at us i think in mm. rapid waves um lately and you know like from the cursor ide which i i love and that's using that same principle right like when you ask the you know a, a ai ide to build something for you it's effectively doing this this workflow and process and examining files and making decisions and you know like asking you if you want to do the next step as you you flow through it so kind of the same thing just applied into different contexts mm, yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah i'm looking forward to that a lot um it, it sounded like you said something about an ai router <laughs> which uh, right. sounds kind of interesting uh so yeah i'm really looking forward to uh, to seeing your talk. Um, so at Epic WebConf, um, like what in your mind, what is the, the real benefit to, uh, going to a conference? Because the, the education is available. We're, uh, we're definitely going to have the like recordings of the talks available mm -hmm. online. So somebody watching this right now, may be uh, deciding like, Oh, that sounds like a cool talk. I can't wait to watch the video. Why should they come in person? So for me, and and I really enjoy going to conferences, and especially ones that are that are put together in a way that that respects the hallway track uh, as much as as the the you know like the kind of the the presentation side of it, and that's important because you're getting these new ideas, right? Like people are making presentations and presenting ideas, and then you have this opportunity to then discuss it and and see what other people are doing and see what people you know like what what kind of problems they're dealing with on their job and and you know how that relates to yours and what kind of new stuff they're using and just that sharing of ideas in the context of of you know also a shared learning experience i think really you know i've made so many connections and uh had come out with just so many ideas about that i could take home and and start implementing and be enthusiastic about um at, at work and both you know this is you know, like, what do you do for fun programming? What's your hobbies programming? Like, I still feel that way. Um, and I love it a lot. And being in that like immersive experience really means a lot to me. And then the connections you make, cause you know, I work remotely and I love it and I don't want to go back to the office, but every now and then I want to just be surrounded by other people that are enthusiastic about the work that we do. Mm. Um, and that's just a really good opportunity. It's hard to simulate online. Like I love, you know, I'm highly online and I love that, but you know, like taking that break and slowing it down and, and having those, uh, you know, like talking to people and not putting it on two X and actually listening and, and uh, also sharing like that's, that's something that I, I, uh, hold pretty dear and I, I love, I love doing it. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited mm -hmm. to, to see everybody in, in Salt Lake city. Yeah. Yeah. I, I completely agree. And it's, um, as, as more and more of our lives become uh, controlled by computers or, or like run by the machine, uh, it's nice to do something that uh, the machine can't do. Um, and that is like connect with humans um, yeah. in, a, in a true way. So I mean, me and Claude are tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, for real, though. You you could definitely like there are the AI girlfriend apps and all of that stuff, yeah. but um, but yeah, there's just something um, something special about having that human connection, and that's what we're that's that's the whole reason we're doing the conference. We could easily just put these videos online, but um, we want people to come together. It it costs a lot more, it takes a lot more effort and everything to get people together, but like that's where the real value lies is right there. I had so many jokes that just ran through my head and I'm just like, uh, uh, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> oh, yeah. AI. No, I, I, I agree. I'm, I'm extremely <laughs> bullish on human relationships and being, you know, like, like proximity uh, is great. Mm. Like working remotely. Fantastic. I'm not going to trade that in for anything, but then also like, like how do I get that? Um, and I've, I've, I've been doing this a long time and I've been going to conferences for a long time and I have, you know, it's like, jobs and opportunity and friendships and you know professional knowledge that that has come from going to conferences i, I don't think i can it's just been impactful for me for yeah sure. yeah well i i've gotten jobs because of meetups and conferences uh, before yeah. like it definitely impacted my career um all right joel the last thing i want to know from you is um as we're at the conference, you're uh, standing around, somebody wants to come up and, and meet you and talk with you. What is, uh, what, what are some things that they could bring up that would be really interesting for you to talk about? 
so I've, I've been on a like a health and nutrition and general fitness kick and that's what i'm building my little ai fueled app about and i will talk about that for days um if you want to want to chat about that sweet yeah sounds good let's talk about health i i yeah. started working out for the first time <laughs> oh, nice. like, actively so yeah Love to hear it yeah let's chat yeah all right hey thanks so much joel thanks everybody okay. for watching we'll see you at the conference in uh march see you soon